Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Milkmaid of the Milky Way. I spotted a tuft of black hair. Hey, who is back there? Okay, that's all I wanted. <gasps> okay. <laughs> I'm sorry for the short intro. Um, this name is Halim, the last boy on board. He must be hidden until order is restored. If Emerita finds out all hope is lost, we must keep him a secret at all cost. When I grow up, I'll change the rules. I won't let the queen treat us like fools. Halim, my boy, your time will come, but now I need you to keep mum. Now quick, go hide, Anissa cried. He's hiding behind all the yawn. Okay. Last time, we were a milkmaid. Now we are a milk... woman. <laughs> milk lady. So, uh, different styles. Okay, is there anything I can get from her? Cape. What is this cape that you're making? What is this cape you're making? Anissa's hands were still shaking. The queen's has explicitly expressed that the cape shall leave everyone impressed. If the cape does appeal to the queen, she surely will put me in the age machine, but my fabrics are heavy as leather. The cape must be light as a feather. Hmm. I like my walk animation now. It reminds me of, um, of Dropsy. I don't know if you played that game. I'd love to play that game on my channel, but it's like, I wish that I could forget everything about it and play again from the very beginning. It's such a fun game. And it's like creepy weird. This kind of seems creepy weird right now too. What is this? A crate probably used for a freight. For freight? Yeah. What's this? It's going crazy. It was a revolving spool spinning like a whirlpool. A whirlpool? Yeah. What's this slot? What's that? A burning flame with no sense of gravity. It was floating inside the huge round cavity. Looked like a huge humming spider, only bigger, only wider. Hmm. That's odd. Okay, I guess these aren't stairs. <gasps> Who is that man? I'm supposed to be hiding, but I'm going out and talking to everybody. Hello there, miss. I'm the mechanic, this. You look new. Have I seen you before? And what did you come down here for? I explained my dire situation. Viss shook his head for the whole duration. How can she demand our support when all she does is extort? If I wasn't this old, I'd disobey. My power tools would sure make way. What are you repairing? I asked and looked at the strange thing. Repairing thing, okay. This is a hover sled, an older design. We used it to herd our bovine. But there's been problems with the steering. It has a tendency to suddenly start veering. And of course, no one here can ride the sled. We're too old and soon we'll all be dead. Do you need help to fix it? I can aid. You just have to teach me the tools of the trade. There's not much you can do to help, I think, unless you get me something cool to drink. I can do that. He looked up and said with certain snide, to use the di <laughs> that dimensional focuser, you need to be qualified. Hey there, let me set you straight. No one touches my void crate. Don't touch that, he said with a scoff. That power tooth will rip your face off. Is this something, too? No. Hey, lady, hold still. No one touches my power drill. It looked like some kind of blueprint. Symbols so tiny I had to squint. For what? Okay, so this is the spider thing. And there's something. I just need to drill this thing. Just need to drill a thing. Okay, so we need to get him a cool drink. There's nothing else I can do over here? Okay. There's 
nothing that way. So I probably need to get the power tool from him, the drill thing. Oh my god. I love your walk animation. Look at you. Oh my god. <laughs> so, I need to get him something cool to drink. And she needs something thin. Maybe if you did like an acid wash on it to eat it away a little bit. I don't know. That's what I would do. I want, I want something. Okay, so I have to get him a cool drink. Maybe if I just put my glass on top of it. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna call him out and then I'm gonna quickly run over here and try to fill up the glass. Switch glasses, hoping what I was doing wouldn't cause problems with the doctor's brewing. Now I'm going to go. Excuse me. Goodbye. Goodbye. I hope the man doesn't hate my beer. Who takes that long to make one glass? Who does that? But I'm gonna give this to him and I hope that he likes it. Oh my god, look at me. That boy just wanted to spend time with me. I go on vacation with me? And I'm an old lady because I was too busy with my cows. Here, take this. It's probably hot from the machine. You're a kind woman. You're the first who's come down here to quench my thirst. I want this. Sorry. What are you repairing, may I ask? That tool is meant for a specific task. I have this. I have this. If for this, I want to do this. I want to do this. Okay, so he's definitely changed his attitude. About me fixing whatever that is. Repairing. What are you repairing? Oh. Hover sled, so we already talked about this. I already got you, Tricky Punk. Oh, okay. But I want to repair the thing. I have this screw for you. Oh, hmm, looks like. The, an elevator bolt to me. You can borrow my drill to get those free. Thank you. Gosh. Thank you. I normally don't lend out my tools, but you've been so kind. You've been kind, so I'm bending the rules. Okay, so it's here. Is this what I've been doing? I don't know. Oh, well. But I'm gonna go fix a thing. The elevator, at least. At least the elevator. Mm. She's just so frumpy. I'm probably gonna look like that. <sighs> if all goes well. If I get if I get that old. Or maybe I'll just look like that when I'm 40. I don't know. <laughs> Or maybe that's actually what I do look like. I don't know. Here. I gave the blue thing a stare, but it was nothing I could repair. Are you kidding me? If I open the metal cover, maybe the glowing matter I discover? What is that? Oh. 
Oh. It was a strange soft material lighter than air. Ethereal. But I'm not actually going to fix it. Nope. Okay. Cool. Is this fixed? Nope. Okay. So I'm going to give this to that lady. And maybe she'll give me something I need. I don't know. I don't know if she has what I need. So, but I'm gonna give her this material. Ethereal material. I like my fast walk. I took out the floating blob and asked her if it could help her job. That looks light, almost witching, but I can't use that blob for stitching. Okay, I know what I need to do. I'm gonna take the blob and I'm gonna put it in this thread thingy, this thing. Oh, look at that fast walk. I'm gonna put this in here. I remembered mother back on the farm when she had, when we had sheep, she was spinning yarn. Hope I don't break it. That went quite well, I said as I looked at the floating thread. Can I take it? The blob had spun to a thin, fine thread, but if I touched the spools, my fingers would shred. Just remove that. Oh my god. Oh, okay. The ethereal blob had spun into yarn that weighed none. I knew it. It said that this was a spool. A spin and spool. A spool and spin and spool. Hmm. I got it. Oh my, what a wonderful thing you brought me. Floating string. This could make the cape float. Her voice thick, her a lump in her throat. Better fix that elevator before the queen sees, or else she'll reprimand us and have us on our knees. She doesn't even look any younger. The cape is done as you commanded. You did this to your, you did this yourself single-handed? Yes, my queen. It took a while to shape this delicate textile. Well, for starters, I don't like the color, and for size, why make it smaller? I am not a righteous queen who serves, protects, and keeps- Am I not a righteous queen who serves, protects, and keeps our grass green? Should I not be well-dressed, at least, in time before the important feast? This matches her outfit, of course. Without remorse, I work and pray to keep our herd alive for another day. Aye. Why you a why I ask you to do one easy job and you do it carelessly like a slob? <gasps> no. Are you not a person who cares? I think you owe me some of your years. No. Go. Oh no. Hey kids, stay. There is another way. Listen, I have a plan. If you want to stop this madness, you'll have to be a man. You help my mother, I'll help you. Just tell me what you want me to do. Look, time is of the essence. Let's skip your whole adolescence. <gasps> I'm going to take the boy's years? Are you sure you want to go through with this? There's nothing about my childhood I'll miss. Okay, get in there, kid. I'm not sure how this works, I must confide, but please try standing on the other side. So, I'm not sure how to turn it on. Maybe we just count? Three, two, one? Oh my god. Well, last time it, like, knocked me out, right? Well aged. So, I'm like, oh, I hope the boy is good. He's a man now. So how does it feel to be grown? Halim replied with a groan. 
I sure feel different, more old than new. Also, I see everything from a different point of view. It's such a long way down to the floors and my voice seems darker, of course. Growing up is tough on body and mind. We'll catch up, take a rest, and unwind. So now I'm a lady again. Mother, what has she done? It's Halim, your son. I could hear Halim sobbing and crying. Even a man grieves when his mother is dying. These people had worries far bigger than mine. My resolve hardened. I'd force the queen to resign. Oh. I'd kept a respectful distance. I'd wait till later to ask for assistance. So, I mean, is there anything else over here? Oh no! Are you alright? I asked the man. A poor sight. Oh my stars, thank you Ruth. But things are not good, to tell you the truth. I was trying to make a brew for the feast when something happened. And the pressure increased. Suddenly the brewing machine exploded. They're old and the pipes had probably corroded. Everything is lost. The queen will be so crossed. And this has, this has to stop. We have to con contravene. I just need to know how I can stop the queen. Steal the staff. It contains the power, but don't get caught. It will be your final hour. Here, let me help you to your feet before I show the queen her defeat. Nah. Just let an old man sit and rest. Go get the staff. Do your best. So they're all against the queen. <sighs> Is there anything else I can do with the mechanic before I go all the way down? Look at how fast I am now. Look at the speed. Look at the speed. Is there any... Oh, that's something new. You got back to you got back your youth. Good on you, Ruth. How's repair going? Is there any progress showing? Well, the engine is soon done, but the hood fell off on the last run. The hover sled needs a new bonnet. Don't worry, I'm on it. Can I borrow your oil can? I asked the old man. I don't even know what I need. It's almost empty, a sad state of affairs. I need it for oiling and squeaky repairs. Why? Okay. Okay. I still have the power tool. So. I need to get him a new bonnet for his uh, hover thing. And then, oh, string. It was Anissa's needle she used for sewing. She wouldn't miss it where she was going. Oh my god, that's so dark. I feel like she was a use, a useful, youth, useful, useful, <laughs> useful part of the uh, the team here on the ship. You can't just take everybody's youth and then it's just gonna be you being young and everyone else that was helpful before, old and dead. Is this a dog? I want that. This place was so fascinating. Flying staircases, lights pulsating. I want that. A piece of fruit was lying there, rotten. Maybe a sacrifice, maybe just forgotten. What's that? It looked like a memorial or holy place with a statue center with a milk beast's face. I didn't understand these people's belief, but the shrine was decorated with flowers and leaves. Hmm. So these are, I don't even know. I guess I came from there. This is another way up. This is another way up. This is, I don't know. Is this safe to be? They got these old ladies on the floor were parts of the decoration ordered by the queen for the celebration. And these poor little ladies. Hello there, ladies. How do you do? My name is Ruth. Nice to meet you. You hear that Tithy? You hear that Tithy? She called you a lady. You don't deserve that title. You're so shady. <laughs> 
Utsalva, uh, Utsava, you're no better. Remember the mechanic? You fled, <laughs> you fled your bedroom naked in panic. Oh, it's some dirty old ladies. So, you're in charge of the decorations? They look nice. Congratulations! It's a secret, but I'll spoil it. We dragged the garlands through the toilet. Oh, these ladies are fun. You see, we don't like the queen very much. She'll, she's unstable and uses the staff as a crutch. Crutch. Before I take my cows back to my farm, I'll stop her so she can do no more harm. That's the spirit. I wish I was your age. Ah, when my breasts weren't below my rib cage. But seriously, we'd wish we wish you the best of luck. Tell the queen she is a stupid lame duck. <laughs> I like these ladies. They're sassy. Sassy ladies. On the floor with parts of decoration. Yeah. Okay, that's the age machine. So we don't need that right now. I don't, I said I don't need that right now. <laughs> but what if I go up here? This is the front of the ship I'm at? Oh no, this is... I'm gonna give you keys. There's a froggy. I took some yellow plants and stuck them down my pants. Ow. That was far from weak. Oh. Hey, Froggy, please wait. I won't put you on a plate. I just want to hear your call. I promise that's all. <gasps> Am I gonna chase him away? He's gone now. Oh no, thank you. Lick with her wonderful physique had caught the frog that went squeak. Thank you. What would I do without you? Like. Oh. So if I talk to the shepherd, maybe he'll say something to me. Cows, please, there must be some way you can save my cows today. My hands are bound, I'm afraid. Amrita took the power and can't be swayed. Even if there were, even if I were to be trying or whole herd is still dying. What is wrong with the beast over there? Her horn is broken and her breath irregular. That's Yogita. She's the wild one of the herd. Last time in the age machine something occurred. She went berserk, her tail flung, almost like she didn't want to get young. Now we must tie her down and make her stay and feed her sleepy grass to keep her at bay. Oh, that's sleepy grass. Okay, that'll probably be helpful. Well, oh, there's something. After what they'd been through, it was quite amazing that they were all quite happily, quietly and happily grazing. Okay, well, next time on Milkmaid of the Milky Way, we're gonna mess up the queen, or at least try to. <laughs> I got some sleepy grass, I got a frog that squeaks, I got some fruit, I, I think we got everything we need. <laughs> so I hope you have a nice day, and I'll see you then, mm, goodbye!